My ray of doom. Oh, it looks like it's shooting out of his butt right there. Oh, giant butt lasers. <laughs> Hello and welcome, my mystery beavers. If you guys have not seen, this is a monkey knowledge upgrade. What it allows you to do through the door gunner is... Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, it's going right around. Oh, it's perfect, man. Oh, look at that mouse technique. Oh, what it allows you to do is allows you to pick up fourth tier towers. And then when you attack... These fourth tier towers, you don't have a limited range anymore, technically. Now, the issue with this is that once you get up to those big, beefy fifth tier towers, you can't pick them up anymore. Ninja Kiwi realized that would be a little bit too overpowered, so they stopped you and then limited you to some of the more powerful fourth tiers, like the Tech Terror or maybe the Overdrive. But. Today, I've got a surprise for you guys. But before we actually get to that extremely amazing surprise, I gotta farm a little bit, because we gotta make some money, because we wanna make some plays, because we're gonna be able to pick up fifth tier towers today. Now I want you guys to just think deep about what fifth tier towers you would most like to see be picked up by the door gun. Now this is admittedly a mod. So if you guys are upset at me for modding the game, well, suck my balls. I really don't give two craps. We're just having some fun today. We're going to do something different, and we're uh, going to see where it leads. All right, guys, we farmed pretty hard. I didn't go crazy. I didn't use any extra, you know, powers or anything like that besides my farmer. But uh, right now what we've got is we've got a heli pellet. We've got a somewhat small amount of defense here, and we've got our two rubber to golds here, which are actually helping us out quite a bit. We're finally time to decide, do we go raise rotors or do we go down draft? And today... We're going for that down draft. Push it back, let it go, and we're going to get that support tunic right after that because then this is where we allow ourselves to move towers around. Though we have to wait for that fifth tier before we can actually move these guys. So if you actually get down and, like, deep and think about it, like, is it worth it to get this guy to just pick up a tower? $32,400 is pretty pricey. It's hard to say that, like, picking up a fourth tier tower is worth it, but that's why today we're going to test it out with fifth tiers. Guys, it's time. Here he is. Special Poperations. Now, with Special Poperations, the normal things you get is you get this ability right here, which is pretty good, actually. Very powerful. It actually comes back pretty quickly over here. Almost enough where you can pretty much, well, yeah, constantly put down one of them at, at, at a time all the time. So if you're very consistent with your abilities, holy crap, that's awesome. And normally... What we can do is the best thing we can pick up is a fourth tier tower. But even if we get something as cool as a an overdrive over here uh, picked up, we can actually get a pretty good amount of damage out of these guys. We can kind of just fly around, even if we uh, follow mouse this guy, and just use this uh, tactic to just obliterate the balloons right on top of them, which is pretty pretty cool if you ask me. Uh, the one weird thing about the door gunner, if you guys have not heard about this, is that you actually have to be in range of a village flying around for your power to actually come into play here. So, like, this village right here, we want to get that bigger race, we want to get that jungle drums, and we want to get that primary training, because when we go in range here, you notice the primary training, look at the tacks, look how big they are. Now when we go out of range, you notice that the range gets way smaller, right? So you actually can move inside and outside of the range of the village, which is just absolutely insane. Now, don't get me wrong. This is cool. This is good. This is powerful. But for spending thirty-something thousand dollars on a tower that just, you know, can move around a little bit, it's probably not worth it. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, all right, we're finally going to do it, guys. The most, one of the most powerful, one of the most interesting towers in the entire game. We're going to pick this guy up. We're going to buy the tax. We're going to wait for this cooldown to come back. And we're going to pick him up and watch the obliteration. Now, don't forget, there's a couple extra weird things you could do with this guy. If you buff him before you pick him up with either, uh, an, uh, uh, with either an engineer uh, up to fifth tier, not not fourth tier, or a an alchemist up to fifth tier, not fourth tier, he will keep those buffs forever. All right, so you could actually make a super powered, overpowered tax zone that you can just pick up and do anything with. But here it is, guys. We're about to do it. We're about to make this happen. Throw down a sniper to kill this BFB. And let's start by picking up the tap zone. Ooh, what? We can! We can do it! If you just click, you can see which towers we can pick up. We can even pick up banana farms! 
That is ridiculous. All right, all right, all right. Let's do it. Tax zone. Oh, oh, dude. Look at how OP this guy is. Dude, you could just walk around. Walk around. Fly around wherever you want to go and just kill everything. So, I've got a quick story for you guys. Because I want to save up some money. And I think there's one other tower that I for sure want to get today. I want to drop my tax zone back down eventually. I want to power him up a little bit. In fact, let's farm just a little bit more. Uh, in fact, let's farm even more than that. Let's get a second village and make sure that we're in range over here to get a monkey town. And a... Uh, yeah, let's just get the monkey town for now. So anytime we're in range over here, we're going to get extra monies, too. But I want to tell you guys a quick uh, a quick story about my life right now. Uh, nothing crazy, but it's, it's upsetting, to say the least, all right? While we save up, because what I want to get next is going to be my dartling gun, and I want to go for the Ray of Doom. All right, I want to pick up the Ray of Doom. Because normally, I mean, if you get a Dartling gun in most places on this map, you can't see through walls and things just don't go good at all. But what happens if we pick it up? Can we see through walls? Can we actually just move around and do what we want to do wherever we want to do it? It's a very interesting idea. Um, but before we get there, while we're owning, let's talk about my story. By the way, just check out this obliteration. We're just sitting right on top of the balloons, and they cannot get on the screen right now. Of course, we're not in a free play yet, but uh, still pretty ridiculous, if you ask me. I, I love it. All right, while we're killing the Zoma God, and while we start to go into free play here... Oh my god, this is just complete destruction of everything. He's not even powered up yet! Oh my god! We're about to... I want to power him up. I want to get an alchemist going. I want to get some overclocks going. And then I want to see the true power of this guy... And then I want to go for the Ray of Doom. There's so many things to do with this. It's ridiculous. All right, so very quick story for you guys. Uh, I was just, I was just uh, 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 getting my roof redone. Uh, you know, it's just like Chris's life just falls apart all over the place. So I was getting my roof redone because I had a, a leak in my roof, and uh, the gutter guys were putting on the gutters, and uh, I was like looking at my my posts that go to my porch, and I was looking at them really quick, and I'm like, wow. Looks like they're they're kind of kind of damaged near the bottom, so I decided you know what let me go let me go check this out while I'm like actually looking at this and looking at my gutters and everything. And I just walk over there and I just push into the wood and the wood just is so brittle it just and falls apart. Falls and breaking apart, man. So uh, I'm like, oh my god, like this my house is about to freaking collapse right now. So I'm like, I don't need this. I don't need this. I'm just going to try to fix it right now. For now, we'll fix it right now. Maybe in the future, if I need to do something, I'll do something else. But for now, I just want to protect it as much as I can. So I decided that I was going to get some of this wood rot stuff. I was going to uh, stop the rot from happening from the inside. I was going to... Oh, by the way, it's time, guys. Let's check this out. So we're going to drop the tax down, down for a quick second here. All right. He's no, no longer powered up by our heli pallet. But what we want to do is we want to go for a quick perma brew, baby. All right, we're going to permabrew this uh, taxier here. I'm also going to go for an engineer and eventually start overclocking this guy. But for now, he's good. And I want to pick my tap, my overpowered permabrewed tax zone right now inside of the range of an... Oh, my God. I didn't even have primary mentoring. Holy crap. Didn't have it. And now here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Now, he does not lose that buff. If you see my heli pallet over here, he's got that tax zone buff. And we're basically unstoppable. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to say, screw it. We're going to get rid of this guy. We're going to go for the overclock and the ultra boost. Ultra boost. And I want to drop him back down. I want to overclock him. All right, I want to see uh, how powerful he's going to be. If I don't overclock him 10 times, that's fine. But I want to overclock him at least at least a little bit here. Mr. Hockey, five. All right, let's drop this guy down. Let's overclock him over here. And don't get me wrong. He's pretty good as he is. But having infinite range on top of the fact that this guy actually exists is pretty awesome. To say the least, man. I'm pumped. So anyways, I get this wood rot stuff. I get the, the paint. I get this, like, paint scraper. I scrape off all the paint. I'm, like, getting ready to do all this stuff. I start, like, uh, getting rid of the rotten wood. And I'm like, realizing I'm getting rid of, like, a third of the post that's holding up this stuff. And guess what I find, guys? Freaking ants. Oh, my God. Of course, it was freaking ants eating my wood. 
So I'm in the middle of like doing all this stuff, and I'm like, I gotta go to the freaking store. I have half of my post ripped up right now. The neighbors probably think I'm a crazy man, just ripping stuff up and doing nothing. Uh, making my post just disappear in front of their eyes because like it looks like there was wood there But when you touch it, it doesn't exist. It just <laughs> falls to pieces So and that's just destroying the paint on the outside, which is protecting it from rot and other things. So uh, Basically all in all uh, By the way, we have an overclocked superpowered attack shooter right now, and this is amazing Absolutely amazing. He's just two times overclocked for now, but we can do more if we feel like it But I think it I think we're better off just dropping him down, and I want to see if what we can do is if we drop him down and we go for our Ray of Doom. How powerful that guy is going to be. So we can already get a Plasma Accelerator here. No problem. That was already possible in the game. Now we're going to go for the Ray of Doom, which is $102,000. Expensive, don't get me wrong. But, uh, uh, oh, 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 oh. So yeah, you can't see through walls with the Ray of Doom. A lot of people don't know that. You know, it seems like it's a weird, weird thing, but it's true. It happens. It's okay. Oh, you know what we should do? We should overclock our Ray of Doom. Oh, he's not in range of the Perma Rue either, but that's okay. Because what we can do is we can drop down our tag zone. All right, get ready for this, guys. Get ready for this. We can pick up our Ray of Doom and drop the Ray of Doom next to the Perma Rue. Or we can pick up the Perma Rue and bring it to the Ray of Doom. This is just absolute insanity here. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's overclock this guy. I'm going to pick up the Perma Rue and bring it to this guy first. And then we can swap out and pick up this guy and just have an unbelievable obliteration fest here. All right, guys. So I'm starting to rip all the stuff out. And, of course, freaking ants, man. Eating all my wood. So I had to rip up the ants. I had to get ant spray. And I'm normally not a guy who likes to kill things. But when you're in my post, eating my post out, I'm going to freaking kill you. So I killed all these ants. They're running away with all their babies. I feel like a mass murderer, of course. You know, terrible about myself for killing all these, these ants that just want to live. You know, but they can't live in my post. You can't eat my post. Uh, and then it was just a festival for the past, like, three days of trying to paint my porch. Holy crap, is painting a porch a big, gigantic pain in the butt. I should have hired somebody, man. I should have, but I'm a, I'm a do-it-yourself kind of guy, and you know what? It saves a bunch of money, and I'm down for saving money in any way that I can. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's let's overclock this guy. Let's pick up our perma brew. Will we be able to perma brew? Anybody we want to? Come on, perma brew. Perma brew. There it is! All right, he does throw it! Oh, that's amazing! So can I do it to my, hel my heli pilot? Can I perma brew myself, basically? I perma brew the ninja. All right, delicious. Let's perma brew this heli pilot. Come on. Oh, he is! There it is! Boom! Knocked him down. All right. All right, let's drop this guy down, because if we keep him up for too long, uh, basically our cooldown's gonna take forever. We're not even gonna get a Ray of Doom in time here. All right, so at least, at the very least, I want to get a Ray of Doom up to probably five times overclocked here before we pick him up and make this obliteration fest here. So if you're ever wondering what goes on in a YouTuber's life, yeah, he's got to deal with rotting ant posts and uh, roofs falling off and washers dying, Costco being giant buttholes to him. Uh, just as much as you guys have to deal with some of that stuff. Or maybe I'm just an unlucky person. Either which way, I don't know. But uh, here we go, guys. Ray of Doom. Pick it up. Pick it up. Boom. There he is. Oh, ooh, this is interesting. So I have to aim. <laughs> so wait, can he see through walls now? Oh my god, he can. Oh, wait, so wait, wait, wait. now, if I lock him in place over here, now my ray of do- Oh, it looks like it's shooting him out of his butt right there. Oh, giant butt lasers. <laughs> now we can see over the walls, uh, getting a huge buff over here, but sadly we can't overclock ourselves. Or can we? Or can no, we can't do it. It glitches the game. It won't let me. Uh, unless we were picked it up from? No. That's okay. It makes sense that we can't do it, but uh, it's still just a little bit sad here. So here we go, guys. We're on round 99. Um, oh, we can put them on patrol points here. We just say, hey, go from here to here and just laser smash them. Ooh, I got a really cool idea. All right, let's set him down for a second. Let's lock him in place right here, okay? That might seem like a stupid place for right now, but... Give me a second. Oh, man, I hope we don't lose here. That would be really upsetting. Oh, I never got the perishing potions either. All right. Oh, we just demolished it. Oh, my God. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. So what I'm going to do is I want to go into free play here, guys, and I want to pick up... Oh, let's overclock them while we're at it. Last thing I want to do before I let you guys go here. I'm going to... Uh... I'm going to lock him in place now, and then I'm going to move my heli pilot back and forth. We're going to make just a giant 
laser uh, wall of doom, basically. Oh, crap. We're, like, about to lose. Pick him up! Pick him up! Ah! Oh, so good thing we got a million lives. All right, so now we can set our patrol points of here to here. <laughs> Dude, that's amazing! I love that! How can you beat that? That is freaking awesome. Look at that. Unbelievable laser power just back and forth. You are not getting through this mess right here. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this cool mod video, make sure you press that like button for me. Make sure you subscribe. I definitely had a lot more fun than I thought I was going to. Um, if there's any fifth tier towers that you want to see me pick up, please let me know in the comments below. And we'll try to make it happen for you guys in the near future. Thanks so much for watching. Have a super duper delicious day.